Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise in support of this bill. This is a good bill, and I'm hoping that all of the colleagues of this House will recognize what a good bill this is. Hailing from Luzerne County, the corruption probe is not only it does not only touch upon the matters we discussed today, but it also resulted in another, thir it was up to 30 indictments of elected officials throughout Luzerne County. And I'm encouraging, I'm standing here to encourage my colleagues, especially those that hail from Luzerne County, to stand up and vote for this bill. Official oppression and a mandatory minimum, there should be a mandatory minimum. It is completely ridiculous to argue that the mandatory minimum that's in this bill is going to raise costs and go that there's any fiscal impact which it relates to the budget in any way. There, if there are elected officials or of public officials that are out there right now in this Commonwealth that have the public trust that should be serving with honor and dignity for the people of this Commonwealth, then they should, because they have that trust, upon violation of that trust, they should have a mandatory minimum. Because I will tell you that in Luzerne County right now, among those 30 officials that have been indicted, what they're doing is they're sitting sitting home, maybe they're on an ankle bracelet if they're being punished at all, and their wife is cooking them lasagna. So there is no punishment. It is so unfair. And, <laughs> and, I, and lasagna is a good thing, and I'm not saying lasagna is a bad thing. I am saying what I am saying <laughs> is that it is so grossly unfair, Mr. Speaker. The House will come to order. The House will come to order. The House will come to order. The members will take their seats. The House will come to order. We could stay here all day. The House will come to order. The members will please take their seats. The speaker was hoping to go to dinner and have lasagna tonight. At this rate, we may not get to that. <laughs> the lady may proceed. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I asked the colleagues of this House, when speaking of, when looking at the fiscal impact of this bill, to think of the fiscal impact of the juveniles that were incarcerated. There, was, there were thousands of juveniles that went away. And that's just concerning corruption in Luzerne County and, and, that, and that set of circumstances. There, in this case, in this bill, in order to be convicted of official oppression and for the two-year mandatory to apply, there has to be a continuing course of conduct. I would ask all the colleagues of these, this House, even those that have stood in opposition of this bill in, in, with the excuse of mandatory minimums or the excuse of fiscal impact, to please reconsider. Because being a public official is something that should be treated with honor and with dignity. And when you violate that public trust, you should be punished in a way that is You should be punished to fit that 
violation. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.